Hello, today we want to discuss the question on if you should switch to Unreal Engine 5 if you want to make a hyper realistic body cam game like Unrecord, as well as a tutorial on how you can turn this normal HDRP scene into this body cam game with just adding a few things. The games like Unrecord, Lost Fragment, Body Cam or Paranormal Tales have one thing in common. They are all made with the Unreal Engine 5 and maybe you think if you want to make such a hyper realistic body cam game you need to switch engines. But do you really need UE5 or could you also make this type of games using Unity? I've used both engines for quite a while but I'm way more experienced in Unity. Most people say that you can achieve better graphics using UE5 but is that really true? Out of the box, yes. Unreal Engine has Lumen and Nanite which are two very impressive technologies. Nanite eliminates the need for LODs which means you only need to have one high polygon 3D model and the further you go away from it the less polygons are rendered. Lumen on the other hand is a real-time global illumination and reflection system. It can make use of software and hardware ray tracing and is also highly performant. In Unity, you'll need to create multiple models known as level of details. These include LOD0, which has the highest detail. And as you move further away from an object, lower LODs with fewer polygons are used, making rendering easier for the graphics card. Lumen can also be replaced in Unity. Static objects can be baked, that means the light is pre-computed on your machine, which increases performance and quality. If you have non-static objects, real-time global illumination or ray tracing are available as alternatives to Lumen. With the Unity High Definition Render Pipeline, we can also create stunning visuals like in the Unreal Engine 5. It just takes a bit more time, but Unity is constantly working on new tools to make the workflow easier. With that knowledge, we know that we can build such hyper-realistic games also in Unity. But how? Open Unity and we can start by creating an HDRP project for the best visuals. Import the first person controller package. I'm using the modular first person controller from GKs. Then I tweaked the head bob a bit, deactivated the crosshair and built a small world with Pro Builder and a few models to fill out the scene. With that foundation we can start by analyzing what all the body cam games have in common. The first and most important thing is the fish islands. You can see what I mean by looking at paranormal tales even though I find it a bit too much. To add this to our game we need to go to our global volume and simply add lens distortion. We need to change the intensity and scale. For the intensity a value between 0.3 and 0.6 works great. And for the scale I would either use 1 or a value close to 1, like 0.9. If we look at this tile wall for example, we can see the fissure effect in action. Another thing all the body cam games have in common is a vignette. Some games use a 3D model packed in front of the camera, but we are gonna use the post processing effect. Start by adding a vignette in the global volume and change the value as you like. I've chosen a very hard and edgy vignette, but there are no perfect settings. Some games use round ones, some games have hard edges and it all comes down to your personal preference. We can also animate this vignette by changing the two offset values like I've done here. Lens flare, lens dirt and bloom are also three very important keys to a body cam game. Lens flares are the things we can see by looking into the sun with a camera. We could add a lens flare SAP to our sun, but it's more work and it fits more into stylized games. The variant we're gonna use is by adding a screen space lens flare onto our volume. We can change the settings a bit and when we look now into the sun it looks way cooler. Don't forget to add a bloom effect to your volume. You need to find the perfect settings for it not to be too bright or too dark. Then go to the package manager and download the lens dirt samples from the HDRP package. In the bloom setting change the lens dirt intensity to 1, 2 or 3 and look which of the 4 textures you like the most. It also adds much of a body cam style to your game because real camera lenses also are a bit dirty most of the time. Also you can add a depth of field to blur out things close to you like a gun for example in this body cam trailer. You could add a film grain if you're going for a more VHS type of body cam game but maybe give the players an option to turn it off otherwise some people maybe get headaches. The same goes for motion blur, most people don't like it but it fits great in some games. Last but not least you can also consider rendering the game at a lower resolution. In conclusion, while Unreal Engine 5 offers impressive features like Nanite and Lumen, Unity HDRP is a powerful alternative for creating hyper realistic games. With the techniques demonstrated in this tutorial, you can achieve stunning visuals comparable to those seen in games like Unrecord. Unity continues to evolve offering new tools to streamline the workflow and push the boundaries of visual fidelity. Thank you for watching, I hope you found this video helpful, remember to like and subscribe for more content like this. See you in the next video.